it's a brand new week, and you already know what that means. More amazing add-ons for animation, modeling, and scene design in Blender. So let's jump straight in. Starting with Everything Pack, a collection of generators I've built over time, each designed to make scene creation in Blender faster and way more fun. This pack includes some of my personal favorites, like the Debris tool, which makes it super easy to scatter debris around any object, perfect for adding realism and storytelling to your scenes. And here's the cool part. If you've made your own generators or downloaded others from somewhere else, you can add them into the Everything Pack. All you need is the .blend file and a thumbnail image, and they'll appear right inside the library, ready to use. From my pack, you'll get tools like the Destroyed Building Generator, perfect for post-apocalyptic or war-torn scenes, the Fireball or Sun Generator, the Debris Pile Generator, the Destroyed Road Generator, the Tornado Generator, and even a Missile Projectile Generator. And I'm still adding more. New generators are in the works, all focused on speeding up creativity and helping you build complex effects and scenes without starting from scratch. This one's an absolute must have for anyone doing animation, whether you're a beginner or a pro. It takes your keyframes and converts them into 3D curves that match your animation right in the viewport. The coolest part, you can actually edit those curves directly and your animation updates in real time. No more guessing what those lines in your graph editor are doing. You just move the curve in 3D space and boom, your animation changes instantly. It speeds up your workflow, makes tweaking so much easier, and feels way more intuitive. Plus, it's great for cleaning up messy keyframes, especially if you've imported animation data that has a key on every single frame. You can remove all the unnecessary ones without affecting the actual motion. Next up, we've got iCrowds. And honestly, I get excited every time a developer I trust drops something new. This one's from the same team behind iCity and iCars, so you already know it's gonna deliver. These guys have proven they can, they can make rock solid tools and iCrowds just adds another gem to their lineup. Think about it, you've got iCity for generating massive cities, iCars for filling them with traffic, and now iCrowds to bring those cities to life. It's the perfect trio. But here's what's cool. It's not just limited to urban scenes. The crowd system comes packed with behavior presets like follow curve, move in a line, random spawn, and stadium crowd, and each character avoids collisions automatically. Plus, they've included a character editor, so you can easily tweak and customize your people, perfect for when you want a crowd that looks and moves uniquely for your project. Next up, we have Surface Flow, and there are so many situations where a tool like this just makes sense, whether you're creating pipework around a building, laying cables and wires, or even placing decals on curved surfaces. I honestly wish Blender came with multi-purpose tools like this by default. The closest thing Blender has is shrink wrap, but that only works if you're trying to stick something flat, like a label or sticker, onto a surface. It doesn't preserve the object's volume, so it collapses geometry and flattens it out. Surface Flow fixes that. It lets you wrap objects onto other surfaces while keeping their shape intact, and even includes shrink wrap style functionality when you need it. If you regularly create detailed scenes in Blender, this add-on is a must-see. And while we're at it, there's another great tool in the same category for sculptors, the IMM Brush. Inspired by ZBrush's workflow, this tool lets you attach new meshes directly onto your sculpt, like buttons, nails, armor plates, or any other attachments. It's fast, intuitive, and comes with a built-in library that you can expand with your own assets for future projects. It's perfect for character artists, hard surface modeling, and anyone who loves adding fine details like bolts, stitches, or panel bits without breaking the sculpting flow. Next up is Drawbone, another one of those quality of life add-ons that doesn't necessarily add brand new functionality to Blender, but completely changes how you approach rigging. It makes the old way of building armatures feel like caveman behavior. With Drawbone, you can easily create an entire armature for your character by simply marking where the joints should be. Sounds simple, but if you've ever built rigs manually, you know how much time this saves. It also comes packed with extra tools like the ability to draw bones using curves, hide specific rig parts so you can focus on one area, and even help set up constraints with ease. It's one of those add-ons that you try once and immediately wonder how Blender ever made you rig without it. Moving on to the Procedural Materials Collection. This is the sister library to the 5000 plus PBR pack by the same developer. While the PBR version is great for speed and simplicity, this one focuses on control. 
These are all procedural materials, meaning you can customize every detail without relying on baked textures. Procedural setups tend to be heavier, but they offer incredible flexibility. You get over 100 shaders that work seamlessly in both Cycles and EV. All resolution independent, with zero texture stretching or artifacts. It's perfect for motion graphics, product renders, or stylized projects where flexibility matters most. You can even bake these for use in other software or game engines. Next up, we've got the Fauna Master Collection. You're looking at over 150 animated animals, all set up with procedural behavior templates so they actually roam around your scene. We're talking everything from tiny flies and insects to bison, sharks, swarms of birds, schools of fish, you name it. These are the little details most renders miss out on, just because adding animals is usually a nightmare. Not anymore. This pack makes it dead simple, with models that are well-made, fully textured, and ready to animate right out of the box. Basically, instant life for your renders. Today's add-ons are all about making realism easier to pull off in your scenes. And the next one, iCity, just takes it to a whole new level. This add-on literally builds out an entire city for you. All you do is pick the size of the city, drop in where you want the roads, set the size and height of the buildings, and let the add-on handle the rest. Something that would normally take days turns into a task you can finish in minutes. And if you're a game dev working in Unreal Engine or Unity, you can export those cities straight into your game engine. So you can keep designing in Blender and just send the whole thing over. Anyway, that's it for today. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hope you found a few add-ons that'll make your workflow faster and a bit more fun. Don't forget to try them out and I'll see you in the next one.